There aren't many times in our lives when we get truly lucky. This was one of those times. The time I found seven ultra-rare cinema lenses in an old dusty box at a surplus store. be purchasing a large volume of old camera lenses that I was repurposing for lightsaber parts. And I stumbled upon seven lenses that I wasn't sure about. I looked up these Bosch and Lom lenses that I had not heard of before. As time went on, I forgot about these lenses until one day I was looking at Japan Camera Hunter and saw one of them for sale for $1,400. I said to myself, I think I have seven of these in a box somewhere. Lo and behold, I had seven of these very rare lenses. This lens is the Bausch & Lomb Baltar 35mm f2.3. These are extremely rare cinema lenses from the late 1940s. I paid about $6 per lens. I've essentially struck gold. Now that I've rehoused them, I can sell them for anywhere between ten dollars to $15,000 a piece. They were used to shoot many Hollywood films back in the day, and even recently they were used to shoot The Lighthouse, one of my favorite movies of all time. These are workhorse cinema lenses that made the rounds in Hollywood for decades. However, from the outside, it doesn't look like a cinema lens at all. These lenses were sold to camera manufacturers in the 40s to be rehoused for their specific lens mounts. So all they got was a metal cylinder with the lens groups in it and no focusing mechanism whatsoever. So the lens is useless unless it's rehoused. Being a machinist and familiar with 3D modeling, I ended up 3D printing my own spacer and machined out a lens housing that I had to make my own makeshift focusing helical for this lens. I used it to shoot several of the videos on this channel, but I wanted more. I reached out to the company Zero Optic out of LA, who is known for rehousing some of the rarest and most valuable lenses that you can get. Now the housing was not cheap. It cost me $3,500 to get this lens turned into a real cinema lens. And it also took 14 months for me to get it back. The Zero Optic housing is unbelievably well made. It uses a focusing cam instead of a focusing helical like a lot of cheap cinema lenses do, which essentially allows for a more linear increase in distance over the full focus range. It's super light to move as well. It just moves so freely. It reminds me of the Cook anamorphic lens. This is a Hollywood level professional cinema housing made just like the highest end cinema lenses these days. This lens from the 1940s is better than most lenses I've used today. The look it has is absolutely incredible. It has very good contrast for a single coated lens, and the bokeh is some of the best I've ever seen. In addition to finding these 35 millimeters, I recently found a 25 millimeter Baltar on eBay in a lot of broken lenses. I essentially paid about $7 for that lens. The 25 millimeter lens was in the worst condition of all of them. Some of the aperture blades were missing, and the front element was starting to separate. I baked the lens group in an oven in an attempt to melt the balsam, but to no avail. I have more methods planned for the future, but my attention has just been swept away by finally getting back my housed 35 millimeter. This is by far the best junk find that I've ever come across and that I probably ever will.
。GX 需要您的支持，才能继续制作这些视频。当前的世界状况使人类和机器的生活变得艰难。众所周知。在二十年代初的全球芯片危机之后，人类面临着迄今为止最严峻的挑战。在您通过 Patreon 持续支持的情况下 ，GXX 将能够远离公司系统，并投入更多时间制作您喜爱的内容。顾客将可以访问独家幕后上传、现场直播、秘密的地下 Discord 服务器。每集的演职表中将有您的名字，您也将在每季度。收到摄影作品的打印版本，谢谢大家，并在外面保持安全。